good day to your sons and daughters. Yes, today I'm presenting to you the brass wind instruments. This is a Western music lesson. Yes, brass wind instruments. Right, you can see on the slide there are five brass wind instruments. Yes, as the name suggests, brass wind. That means it is made out of brass and you need wind, the blowing, to produce sound. Yes, let's find out where these instruments are kept in the, in the orchestra. Yes, now you can see the green color is the, are the string instruments. You have learned about it before. Yes, then you have the yellow one, that's the woodwind instruments. Then the blue color are the percussion instruments. Yes, they are right at the back. Now between the percussion instruments as, and the woodwind instruments, brass wind instruments are seated. Players are seated or standing. Yes. Let's look at the brass wind instruments. Yes, brass wind instruments produce sound by blowing to a cup-shaped mouthpiece by buzzing the lips. Yes, I'll talk about buzzing the lips a little later, right? Yes, all these instruments are made out of brass. They produce brilliant and often loud sounds. Yes, and the brass wind instruments have a lot of tubing coiled up. You can see in the pictures. Yes, a lot of tubing, very lengthy tubing, curved in for convenience. Right, the main brass wind instruments of, uh, in the orchestra are the trumpet in the left corner, then the French horn, the circular one, the trombone, the long one, and the tuba. You must, you should uh, see a difference in the trombone. It does not have valves. All the other three instruments have valves. Okay, let's go to the next one. This is the cup-shaped mouthpiece. Yes, when you keep the instrument, yes, you had flattened your lips and keep it, uh, the mouthpiece, cup-shaped mouthpiece has to be kept and you have to buzz your lips. That means the vibrating agent are the lips. So if you vibrate it hard, you get a high sound. If you vibrate it a little a bit slower, that means you get a slow, a soft sound and a low sound. Yes. Right. Now you can see the valves. Right, sons. Can you see like three pistons there? Yes. When you press it, the tubing gets connected. In the right extreme, in red, you can see how it gets connected. When it is not pressed, it is one straight tubing. You can see the red. Yes. Then if you press it, can you see? The tubing, is, tubing inside is connected. It is clearly given in the other drag, the diagram on the right corner. Yes. The, the tuba right in the, at the left extreme has sometimes four valves and this trumpet you can see very well three valves yes now let's go to the next slide right crook now these valves are extra length of tubing which is permanently fixed to the instrument to change the pitch this way they can produce the chromatic scale made out of semitones. Yes, let's go to crooks now. This means extra length of tubing temporarily fixed. They can be removed. So when they need micro semitones, they do this. They are called crooks. Yes, now we are going to learn the first instrument. That's the trumpet. Right, you have seen this trumpet very clearly. Where? Papery bands? Yes, trumpet is played there. But mainly it's used in bands 
orchestras for classical and jazz um, music. Yes, this you can see it has three valves. Yes, and it is of high pitch. Yes, when it is high pitch, it is used for melody. Trumpet is used for the melody. Yes, and also it's a transposing instrument. Right? That means what is on the notation is not what you hear. Right? This trumpet in B flat is the most common instrument that we use. Right? And it transposes a major second lower. Right? <clears throat> Let's listen to the brilliant and prominent sound of the trumpet. instrument that's the French horn yes you can see it's coiled up nicely right French horn has 12 feet of tubing coiled up yes at the beginning there were horns animal horns they took and made instruments a blowing instruments that's how French horn came to existence yes French horn is the modern developed horn made out of animal horns Yes, left hand is the one which you take the three valves and I mean press and take different notes. Right hand is placed inside the bell. That's how you hold the French horn. Yes, this too is a transposing oh, instrument sounding a perfect fifth lower. So let's listen to the warm expressive tone of the French horn. Yes, let's go to the next in instrument now. It's the trombone. Now, all the other instruments had valves. This does not have valves, right? The trombone is the only instrument that has a movable U shaped slide. Yes. It doesn't have valves, but it has a movable U-shaped slide. So if you take the slide very far, that means the length of the tube is too very far, I mean long. So that means you get a lower sound. If the length is short, that means you get a high sound. Yes, usually bass clef is used for this instrument. So it does not... I mean, certain times it plays the melody, but most of the time it accompanies. Right. Okay. You can see a word written there. Glissando can be played very easily using the slides. Now, what is glissando? Yes. Glissando means if you take, the, take your thumb on the keyboard and play from one note to the other rapidly, like this sound. Thrum, thrum, thrum. That is glissando. It can be played very easily on this trombone because of the slide, because you can quickly take the notes very fast and rapid. You can play in the trombone. So now let's listen to the brilliant and warm and also powerful tone of the trombone. <laughs> very powerful isn't that so right let's go to the next instrument tuba yes this is the the grandfather of the brass wind family the largest and the lowest instrument right sometimes tubas could be nine feet or even 18 feet right it's coiled up for convenience yes this has mostly four uh, valves you can see the place holding the valves. Yes. And it is a transposing instrument sounding an octave lower. Yes. Right. Let's listen to the thick bass sound of the tuba. Yes, 
bass. That's a bass sound, right? Tenor tuba is all, has a different name. It is called euphonia. Most of the brass bands have a euphonia. That is a tenor tuba. Okay, we have come completed all almost all the instruments, but I would like to give two extra instruments. Let's go to the next slide. Yes, you can see a sousaphone. Huge instrument covering or coming over the head, isn't that so? This is also a basic, basically it's a tuba. Yes, the difference is it's easy to carry because it fits into the body of the man. So in, uh, I mean, um, bands, brass bands, when they have to march, it's so much easier for them. So they take this saxophone. This also has a very deep bass sound. Let's listen to the saxophone, sound of the saxophone. Yes, deep bass sound, isn't that so? Right. Let's see, we are going to the other instrument, it's cornet. Yes, you are right. It looks like a trumpet, but small in size. Here, this also is used for trumpet passages. It also sounds almost like the trumpet, but a little different. Let's listen to the sound of the cornet. That's the sound of the cornet. It's a little mellow than the trumpet. We learned the brass wind instruments. Now, in conclusion, instruments played together. Right, let's go to the next slide. You can see here the right extreme is the tuba, the huge one. And then you have second from the right is that trombone. You can see the slide being pulled out. <clears throat> yes, then the third one in the middle is the horn, French horn. And all, then the last two instruments you can see it uh, looks the same. Yes, but smaller inversion. That means second from the left is the cornet. And then you get the last in the cornermost extreme, left extreme. The 